Right, welcome to the Sami Progress video for the tower. And I've been working on the storm surge here. Uh, it is an utterly superb model uh, for the tower. I'm super excited about getting this thing painted up. But I've done a video here uh, at this stage before I start work on it. And that's because I have magnetized it. Uh, so I thought I'd share how I've done mine um, and then maybe that'll help you uh, with yours as well. So Storm Search, beautiful model. And um, what I'm trying to do now uh, is uh, you can see for the Eldar uh, with the Wraith Knight that he's magnetized. Especially on the torso, he's able to spin around the arms and so on move. I'm really happy I did that. Just being able to, to change his position um, I think is really worth doing. Uh, but this one did present a challenge as to how to get him magnetized. Um, so I'm going to run through that here as well. Um, do plan to do it for all of the big sort of models. So the Imperial Knight as well. I hope to actually magnetize the Riptide. He's sort of all glued in position at the moment, but I hope to, uh, to uh, magnetize him as well. So and there's, there's reasons, there's a couple of reasons why I've magnetized him also. So what I'll do is I'll break off here. So here's the lower torso. Magnetizing pre presented a bit of a problem. Um, I'm going to zoom in here to show you exactly how I did this, and then uh, you might like to do the same when it comes to magnetizing yours. So, what I've done here, uh, there's actually a hole here. When the, when the kit's put together, there's a hole, and then one of my disc magnets. Uh, it's a one millimeter by. People ask where to get them. You get them from eBay. Yeah, just measured it precisely. So this is a this is a 12, 12 by one. So it's 12 millimeters wide, one millimeter thick, uh, and then that has, it sits just nicely in there. So that goes there, and then obviously you're going to put one on the bottom. And the bottom part actually comes shaped like a, a dome, like a ball. So what I did was I, I lopped off the bottom there just to make a flat surface uh, to mount these two on. Now I did do one here, and then one on here, and it's, it's stuck pretty well. I'm just going to take the big weapon off here. It stuck pretty well, but whenever I moved him, he did wobble and sometimes fell off, so it's not strong enough. So I put a second one and stuck it on, um, and that's helped to a degree. But then I remembered a, a trick um, that I, sh I should have done when I was putting, them to, putting the magnets in. And that is you can take the magnet here, and then there's a hollow that runs all the way on the inside here. So I took a stack, there's a stack of about six, seven, eight magnets in there. They're sort of the thicker ones, they're like a uh, sort of five millimeter thick, sort of five by fives or six by five sort of thick cone uh, shaped magnets uh, and they actually run up inside. I'll see if I've got a few spare to show you what they look like. Yes, here's a cluster of magnets. I like to keep a spare load of them on the desk here. I have a nice little collection of them. See, so yeah, I took a stack like this, like that, and then stuck them. Now this column like that is running on the inside of this model, so it's running up inside into the void there and he's st stuck on the other side of this plate. So you take one nice wide one, that's the one that fixes it in place, and they're on a stack of magnets and the power of those magnets uh, is, is running through that. Um, and then uh, you can do the same here, you can put a couple of magnets because there's a void that runs down here inside his torso, you can run a couple of magnets on the other side of this magnet here as well. And that just means that that is much stronger. And that is that's fixed, look, moving and not falling over. So happy with that. And that has really, really helped out. And then there, it's slightly higher. I did shave off, cut off part of the dome, so it's not that bad. You're hardly going to notice. And it's just made him a few millimetres taller, which I've got no complaints about. <laughs> so uh, that's him magnetised. Now, I've gone for the air bursting fragmentation projector uh, here and that has meant that it touches the way I've done the leg here. Maybe his leg's a bit too high up. So bear that in mind when you're putting the kit together. Um, maybe keep the fire a bit lower so that he has room to clear it. Which is a shame, so I can't spin him right around. I have to sort of have to lift him and then plonk him back down again. Uh, if I'm to take the air bursting fragmentation projector, but I'm not fussed about that. He's got all of this option here, up to there, and then I can just flip him around, and then he can go all the way around there. It doesn't bother me at all. 
Uh, but in hindsight, I maybe should have lowered the fire here to give this weapon a bit of clearance. Uh, for this one, I haven't magnetized it, I haven't really needed to uh, because it's got sort of a, a, a clip on type system there anyway, so that would be loose. But I don't need, I haven't felt the need to magnetize that one. I could do, um, but magnetize is fiddly, um, so I don't usually just do the minimum that I need. But that's the crucial one there. Just that trick of running a stack of magnets inside can really help you out with your magnetizing and the, the strength needed um, to, to make him stick. So there's quite there's a fair bit of plastic there. And then plus with the heavy weapon on top, um, then he needs a bit of help also. So there's that option. So these magnets are sort of, I think they're the ones I used to stack inside. They're sort of three millimeters by five by the looks of it. Um, and you can just run a stack of them just there. But uh, as I said, eBay is a great place to get a hold of magnets. So that's that option. Goes on top of there, like so. So with him in position like that, the other option I've magnetized is pinning and magnetization. Uh, and that is uh, the heavy weapon here that I've gone for. Yeah, the weapon's a pulse driver cannon is the one that I've uh, gone for for him. Uh, so what I've done here is quite awkward for magnetizing because there's a, there's a thin area of contact um, and then you know to get a, a strong fix for magnets so sort of predicted would be difficult. Um, the reason why I wanted to magnetize this that I have to remember when I use this in the game to remember to put the anchors up or anchors down. I really don't want to forget. You do get to turn two and yourself, you know, blast off a gun to deploy the anchors. I don't get to shoot twice. That's very significant. So what I've decided to do is uh, anchors up, and then during the game I say anchors down, and then I can. That's just a helpful reminder uh, for me to do it. That if I, I I know that this weapon is movable, that helps me to remember. Yes, you've got to do anchors up, anchors down. So when you see them like that in the game, it should be anchors up. And then I think to myself, oh yes, I need to get him in position, anchors down, and then put the weapon down. And your opponent can see as well, so I think mean, it's cool. And I do like the look of both. So this, uh, I do like the look of both as far as it looks cool when it's up, and it looks cool when it's down. And I've got the option to do those two options. So uh, how to do that? As I said, magnetizing is awkward. It's a, it's a thin fixing here. And then the, the added problem of having to, mag if I was to magnetize, magnetize two areas this way and that way. So what I went for is pinning in the end, uh, just drilled through uh, on this part here. I'll zoom in so you can see a bit closer. So you can see I've ran two pins right through here, drilled them through and stuck them in. And that's like a, I think it's piano wiring it's called, it's like a hardened steel, so there's not much bend in it at all, it's very uh, resilient. And brass is good, you can use brass as well, nice hard metal. So a double pin just to keep it straight to stop him swinging around and then on the model two holes there matched up and then two holes at the back then also I found it had a little bit of wobble to it just to stop it from it was just tipping a little a little bit so I thought well just a bit of a magnetization could help so I've stacked uh, a magnet one and a bit magnets there just the little magnets that I have one of them's a 0 0.5 millimeter by three or by four and then uh, that's a three by one uh, the one on top and then another three by one just there and that one is just to help him when he's sitting level so the pins go in and I can feel uh, the magnet just catching that and it's stopping that from going from sagging that magnet just holds it there it's just enough strength to keep it in place and then when it's upright don't need the magnet it just sits there okay like so, and you know it may move a little bit, but there's, there's hardly anything there. The pins seem to hold it in place, just nice. When it's sprayed, varnished, and painted, uh, there'll be a bit more grip there uh, as the pins go in. But happy with that. Now means that he can have the upright position with the gun, and then anchors down when he's ready to shoot or laying down the extra firepower. I can go for that option as well. So that's the magnetizing for him. Just two areas of magnetized, but uh, two really crucial areas. I think it's really helped to enhance uh, this model. 
So uh, there he is, that's how I've magnetised the KV128 Storm Surge for the tower. Uh, so I hope that helps you out, just gives you an idea, I mean you can apply the principles that I've covered here uh, with other mag magnetising projects, especially the torso option there, it did something very similar with the uh, uh, Eldar uh, Wraith Knight, so um, that's the way I think is quite effective for magnetising, gives you that ability just to spin around and do a whole host of different uh, poses and options. It's nice, a model that's so big and does look cool from so many different angles, magnetising just lets you uh, customise him even after he's been painted and modelled. So there he is, magnetising, and that's the update for the tower. Keep a look out for him being painted up and one day to appear on the battlefield to terrorise his foes with overwhelming firepower. So keep a look out for the tower empire expanding in the galaxy near you soon. There it is. Thanks for watching and tune in next time.